This is a nice piece of equipment uh, from Agilent, uh, which is the LC but with a fashion collector, which I'm actually using uh, to uh, collect peptides. Um, it consists of a um, 1200 12, uh, pump, a 1260 auto sampler, uh, a column oven 1260 and a 1260 um, variable wavelength detector. But the nice feature of this, um, which is for analytical prep, probably up to about 1 to 2 mig scale, is this very neat little um, auto sampler, uh, so fraction collector. Um, that's used to collect the peptide fractions. So you can see here, on here, this is, uh, this, this is the actual software that's running, ChemStation software. Um, I've been working 40 odd years in this industry and ChemStation's one of my favourites, very uh, user friendly. And you can see uh, on the green light there is the start of the fraction collection and the red light there is the, uh, the red mark or the uh, end of the fraction collection. So. Uh, the system, uh, as I said, it uses very easy programmable software. And you can see there, it's a good example here, where the fractions now are being collected. And if you look in here now, you can actually see the drips of the fraction being collected. And sometimes it collects two or three, fra uh, two or three fractions over one peak. And at the end of the run, if you want to see your purity, you obviously would then reanalyze those uh, bottles and then. Um, usually freeze dry your product to quite often give you pure material. So um, this is the uh, peptide coming off now as we speak, uh, 21 minutes. And, and actually, I've got actually collecting on the actual UV absorption. Um, uh, once it crosses a certain threshold, I think I've got it set at five. So that's the end of the fraction collection there. Uh, sometimes you can set it where you can get a little tighter fraction collection if that's what you want. And you'll see here, this is how you set up the fraction collector. I've got it based on a variable wavelength detector the up slope and the down slope, that's what determines the threshold when it starts collecting and the maximum level that it will collect up to. You can also, although it's not set up here, you can also link it up to a um, LCMSD uh, uh, detector as well. So it's a very versatile, very nice bit of kit and uh, as I said, if you want to do small scale purification, uh, this, this is the equipment for you.